too bad, but they start to have a little bit of corrosion and something's going on there. So it's about time to change these strings. Another good indicator of it not staying in tune very well for you. Strings that are old, well, actually, they won't stay in tune not so well. So they sort of lose their brilliance. They lose their ability to stay in tune. And so um, on acoustic guitar like this, we've got our, we've got our bridge pins that hold it in place. And this is the most common kind. You're going to see another kind where the, the strings actually go through the bridge. And they, they'll sit on the back side like the old Ovation guitars, if you're familiar with those. They have that kind. I don't think the way the nylon strings are like that, but this, uh, the, bid, the bridge pins are, are much more common for steel string acoustic guitars. So I'm going to do the bottom string, the, the low E, and I'm going to do the high E, because we do something a little bit different with both of those. So if you're at your house and you don't have any tools, you're going to sit there and you're going to unwind your string. But we have tools here, so we get this fancy drill, and we let it do all the work for us. Once this guy is off, you can sit here and you can yank on the bridge pin, or you can get a pair of pliers and you can dig into your bridge and you'll destroy your guitar. There's also a fancy little tool. It's very odd looking, but it fits right over the bridge pin. If I do it right, it fits right over the bridge pin. It has a little coupler around it that slides down, and then you yank it right up. These are for sale behind the counter for the <laughs> price of whatever the price is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this guy comes out. And these can be sent to the garbage can. Your old strings don't need to hang out any longer. Thank you, sir. The string winders work just like, it's just a manual version of what, what I did here. They fit over and they spin one way or the other. This also, on this end, it has a bridge pin puller. It's this little U-shaped hook on the back. So when your bridge pin is in, it just fits right in there and hooks it and pulls it out for you. So there's lots of little tools like that that make this process much easier. What we're going to do for this low E string is we're going to find that bridge pin that I just set somewhere. So you slide the ball end in a bit, make sure that that bridge pin is nice and seated. A lot of people don't start the tune at this point. They'll hook it in and they'll start the tune. But what's going to happen is this bridge pin is going to start yanking out, and it's also not going to seat itself very well. So if you just give it a good yank, you'll actually feel it up in there. It'll seat itself up in there. <coughs> you don't have to be terribly gentle with this. Of course, be gentle with your wooden instruments because you can destroy them. But at the same time, it holds a lot of tension all the time. You know, there's all these pounds, however many pounds it is. So you give it a yank, good yank, it's going to be just fine. We're going to take the string, and for our lower strings, if you just go about one tuner past whatever tuner you're currently on. So we're putting our low E string on, our sixth string. So if you just hold the string at about the tuner for the fifth string, the A string, you just need a little bit of excess, and you can snip it off. That can go on the garbage. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this end, slide it into the tuner, And you just want maybe a fingernail's worth of string to come through the other side. You don't want a whole lot. Give it a little pinch. So it should be, it should have a little 90 degree angle on it, and it'll sit right there. Are we tracking so far? This is a good way to get a nice tight hold on the instrument. So then what you would do is you would take your fancy hand tuner, or you can do it by hand. I don't actually have one of these at my house. I do it by hand when I'm at the house. But we're going to use our drill for time purposes. Now what you want to do is when your string goes onto the, your uh, tuning peg here, you always want it to be on the inside of the tuning pegs. Sometimes you see people and they'll string their guitars on the outside of the tuning pegs. This is not how it's designed to work. and actually screws up the way you tune the guitar. And you always want it to form a nice vertical coil as it goes down. So keep the subsequent winds, you want to keep them underneath the previous ones. So right now we've got a little nub sticking out. I don't know if you can see that much, but we have our excess string sticking out. And then this new bit of string just goes right under it. We're going to keep positive pressure. 
on the string. Again, you can yank on the string, it's not going to go anywhere. Just wind that baby up. Why did it go pop? Yeah. And then you would tune it up as you normally do. So when it's done, you should have a nice clean coil around your tuner, and you shouldn't have an excess. You don't want too much or too little string wrapped up here. All right, so this one has about two, about two wraps around the top. That's going to be more than enough to keep that string in place. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to have, uh, it helps with tuning. You know, it helps keep the, keep the instrument in tune. So now we're going to do our E string, our high E string. Most of the same process is going to happen here. Remove your price tag when you uh, take your string off. I would use this guy, so it just seats right in there. Just pulls up. String comes out. Oh, that'll stick in someone's foot later. Hopefully we'll find that. Yeah. So again, you're going to seat this guy. This guy is usually a little bit harder to seat just because it's hard to grab because they're so small. Just walk around barefoot for a second. You'll find it. So with these, um, the reason we do this a little bit differently is because you want a little bit, a little bit more uh, excess above the tuner. With the lower strings, we usually go about one tuning peg beyond. But with your higher strings, the unwound strings, you know, not the scratchy ones, the unwound ones, you're going to want to go about one and a half to two tuners beyond the whatever peg you're going. And then you can clip that excess off. Remember, if you're unsure of the length, clip off more than you think you need. You can always clip off less, but you can't go back and add more. So again, we're going to do something similar where we go about a fingernail's length in, make a little 90 degree catch on the string. With these guys, what you want to do once you have this in is you're, you're, we're going to make a we're going to make a little pinch on this excess to help keep it in place, to help keep it in tune. So what we do is when we, we put it put it through the tuning peg. Give it one wrap above the excess. All right? We're just talking about with the lower strings, we always go below, make a coil. With this one, you go above, because what's going to happen is we're going to have one above, and then our coil is going to start beneath. And so those two things working together is going to help pinch that excess and keep it in place. So what you can do from here is you can hand wind it once and stab yourself in the finger just like that. And it feels great. <laughs> Or you can start to wind, bleeding on the guitar. Medic, medic. Yeah, medic. <laughs> you don't bleed, you didn't do it right. That's right. Yeah, redo it. So, and again, positive pressure here on the string, just keep it in place. So if you can see where you're sitting, we've got one wrap that goes above the excess, and it comes around, and one wrap that goes underneath it. And we're going to, oh, thank you, sir. We're going to go ahead and use our handy drill for time purposes, making sure that our coil stays underneath our previous wrap. And as you wind up, keep an eye down here to make sure this isn't the tuning, uh, sorry, not tuning phase, the bridge pins are not pulling up, right? Because you're going to tune, 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 and then suddenly it's going to pop on that side, and you're going to have a nice little surprise. But ours is like it's sitting nice and pretty. Keep that positive pressure. And we've got our new E string installed. And we see it there on that tuning peg. Nice, clean coil all right on top of each other. And you can see this one probably has, I think there's probably four coils. And the fifth one is actually above the excess on that. So again, with the wound strings, you just stick it right through. You just need about a fingernail's length to go back um, to go through the actual peg. 
wind it up, make sure the coils are stacking. You don't want them to get together. With your unwound strings, it's good to give it, give it a wind on the top first because what that's going to do is pinch that excess and it'll keep it in place. And then you would tune it up as normal. Any questions about the steel strings before we do the nylons? Yes, a question in the front. <laughs> the same way that I am, you're going to want to come below the tuner and around the top. So that way you end up with the, with the string on the inside of the tuning pegs. You don't ever want your strings on the outsides of the tuning pegs. You want to be on the inside there. And you notice it's all, you know, it's a mirror image of each other on both sides here. Even on electric guitars, when you see them in line, You'll see them. They're based on the bottom side. You had a question? No, no. It's clockwise on the higher, higher strings, counterclockwise on the lower strings. Is that correct? Backwards. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, no? Right. Chat, right? Yeah, okay. Clockwise? Yeah, for the lower strings, yeah. The tuner, yes. The tuner turns that way, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You always want to keep the strings on the Yep. So if there's ever a question, just like Google something like an image of a guitar. Or come see your local guitar technicians that look like just Yeah. 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 But yeah, always on the inside of the tuning pegs. We see that a lot. I actually was working on a guitar earlier and it came in and, and I actually broke a string because I started to unwind it and it was on the outside of the tuner. I didn't even realize it, but I, I started the I started to wind it and it was tightening the string instead of unwinding it, so it snapped. But it was okay, we were putting new strings on anyway, so. Yeah, we don't need that string. That's why you have all these extra strings, so if you break one, you have one. 